So last night, guys, it was the Summerfest 2023. We don't have E3 anymore, thank goodness. Um, these shows were just... They've all gone downhill in the last few years. They used to be great gaming events. Now they're just shills, clapping like f***ing seals to nothing and whooping at anything that's got f***ing graphics in it. And the presenters of these shows are just... I prefer really not to um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. The landscape of video game events has certainly changed over the past few years, but one thing hasn't. There are a lot of great games in development, and our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> It delivers, don't worry. Alan Wake 2, the reveal of Fortnite's next season. And yes, we do have a very special grand finale that you're not gonna want to miss. Would you like to see? Well, finally, guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined the RPG genre with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. And I wanna thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. The rumors were true. Wow, just look at it all. It's so green. <laughs> I watched a little bit of last night live and then I just couldn't face it anymore. So I switched off and I've just had a look at the highlights today to bring you my picks. And I don't have any guys. I have one. No, no, I have two. Actually, I have two and a half guys. Two and a half picks from the absolute shit show that was the shit fest last night. And this game that I'm going to show you now from Paradox looks freaking awesome now the first thing i wanted to know was when it is set and apparently this is set just before the next generation and after the, the kirk era so it's this that area that we know nothing about pretty much it's set during that time which is nice and you can play one of four factions you've got the Federa federation of planets obviously the klingon empire had to be there the romulan star empire and the cardassian union they are the four factions that you can play as. And obviously, you're, you're expanding your, your dominance, recruiting you. I don't know if it's going to play like Stellaris. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of Stellaris in this, which is a good thing. But it's going to probably expand on that, which is an even better thing. So I'm kind of stoked for this um, whenever it comes out. There's going to be more information on um, Captain Picard Day, guys. Remember that one in uh, Star Trek The Next Gen when they had to judge the little kids' painting competitions and all that? Well, that's the 16th of June. So, we shall see what happens on the 16th of June. We'll get more information. Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 also had a trailer going, and they announced that, um, well, they announced to me, I don't know if anyone else knew about this, but that it's got three-player co-op through a campaign, not just through the odd mission, an entire campaign of three-player co-op. And it showed a little bit of that off um, with some uh, gameplay footage of the three Marines fighting side by side against uh, the, the Zergs. I was, a, I was a huge fan of the original Space Marine, so we'll see where this one goes. We don't know much about it yet, but it's coming out this winter. And uh, it's it could be in time for Game of the Year. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I love me, me co-op games and I love me Space Marine games. So it has all of them uh, going for it. But, and this is the big but, it's 2023 take nothing for granted in 2023 uh, the recent state of games has just been atrocious so we'll take it with a pinch of salt see where it goes but let's keep our fingers crossed this is another banger the only other game that really made me kind of go eh. it looks awful but it looks pretty okay at the same time but i'm not going to say it's going to be good because it could be another redfall it's a zombie shooter and it, you know it's kind of like a bit of box ticking it's got john wogan carpenter uh, he he's behind here he has influence on this from somewhere i used to like his stuff um we'll see where it goes it looks 
half decent. Some of the combat, lots and lots of zombie hordes, vehicles you can get into, some pretty meaty weapons. It could, it could, guys. Let's be honest now, it could be good. Probably won't, probably suck donkey's testicles, but it'll, you know, it has a chance. At this moment in time, it has a chance to be good. So, that was it. Everything else is just remakes or just the same old shit with a different f***ing name and pyjamas on. That was all we got uh, last night. There was nothing. There was there was uh, this Battle Mage game that looked pretty decent. But So there you go, guys. That's I wasn't impressed at all. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. But there's the PC Gamer one on Sunday night. I'll be streaming that live. And for uh, uh, yeah, probably, maybe on Twitch, we'll see how that goes. But I've got a lot of stuff coming up today, including a review of a freaking awesome game.